video, you can have amazing photos and videos, but if the copy, if the words, if the text that you put with it is kind of like, eh, I haven't put in that much effort, then once again, you're just not gonna get that much effort back in return. So, hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of Rip the Page, where I am going to be looking at different business owners' business pages on Facebook and ripping them, <laughs> ripping them to shreds with love, of course. Um, and I did want to start with a disclaimer. This business owner has given me full permission to review, criticize, react to, give advice to their content, branding, marketing, etc. This rant, if there is a rant that comes from this, it may just be constructive criticism, who knows, is fueled by my passion for them to improve their marketing, get better results and grow their business and is not in any way a direct attack on the individual. I really wanted to just get that across before we start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to choose a business owner who has volunteered their Facebook page for me to have a look at and I am going to start sharing what I think on first impression as a marketer, business consultant, um, advertiser perspective. Okay, so the first one that we're doing is Melissa Lily Sharp. Hi Melissa, your branding looks beautiful on first impression. However, when I first opened up your page and looked at it, I immediately thought, okay, she does weddings, but what is it that she actually does for weddings? It's your name, it's your picture, but on first impression, I don't know what you do. I see that you've got a pretty good following already, and in these reviews or rips, whatever you want to call them, I am also going to be paying. I'm going to be paying attention to the results and the numbers, which means the actual number of people who like your posts, comment on your posts. Um, I'm going to come at this from a perspective of how to improve your engagement and get more clients from Facebook because that's what I specialize in. And the fact that you've already got 1800 likes is amazing, well done, you are doing well. But on first impression, now I always believe that the cover photo is very important space. Yes, that photo shows off your work, fantastic, beautiful photo, um, but I had to scroll to see what you actually do. Now I would probably like to see something about Melissa Lily Sharp, um, makeup artist specializing in weddings or bridal. That would be the first thing that I would wanna see when I looked at the cover photo. You can have this photo and you can just have some beautiful white text over the top and that would just immediately tell me what you do or tell your potential new clients what you do when they find you through your ads and boosted posts, which I want you to start doing. Anyone who isn't doing ads or boosted posts right now basically is just not living up to, like they're not growing their business to the capability, the potential that they currently have. Yes, it can be scary. Yes, you can fall into a trap to thinking that it's hard, especially if you've done it before and you have failed or it hasn't worked, um, but it's not Facebook's fault. It's your fault, not Melissa's fault, but just people in general. You need to practice, you need to get better, you need to learn what works and you need to keep trying. And that's what I wanna help you with during these rants, to open up your eyes and see how things actually work. All right, let's continue. So as I scroll down the page, I can see that she's got some services here, full eye makeover, signature brows and lash lift. So now I think, well actually, is she a makeup artist or is she a beauty salon? Clearly, maybe she's a beauty salon and I didn't know that from the first impression or maybe these are different services that she does. Cool. Got some good reviews, that's amazing. The first thing that I think of whenever I see excellent reviews is you should be running them as ads. Good advertising strategy to attract new ideal clients to your page is to actually copy the text of your reviews, put them together with a nice photo, ideally a photo of the client if they give you permission to share that and then start running it as an ad to your ideal audience on Facebook, add a call to action, send people to your website, get them to message you for a quote, for prices, or even just run a like ad designed to grow your audience. Testimonials, if you're not actually using them and showing them off, are being wasted. All right, first pictures I see are Batman. I'm assuming this is your little boy. Uh, right now when I'm making these videos, it is everybody's at home in isolation. So I get the gist that immediately like, okay, you've been maybe or maybe you're a face painter like that's the kind of vibe that I'm getting now um or maybe you do paint faces is that a service that you provide or are you just practicing makeup artist skills on your child because you're stuck at home with them this is an interesting photo looks very artistic um 
I'm going to look at the engagement that came from this one. So that one did really, really well. You've got 87 likes, you've got 18 comments, you've got 23 shares. Well done. That is amazing. And this is because it's a combination of one, a fantastic photo that's unique, um, that people probably haven't seen before. I've never seen anything like this. Um, and also probably the wording, the copy that goes with it is a powerful message. So people are sharing that and engaging with it because it's new, because it's different, because it's exciting and because it means something to them right now. From a Facebook marketing perspective, um, hashtags, I'm, I'm, don't use hashtags on Facebook, basically use them on Instagram. But when you're sharing things from Instagram to Facebook, try and delete the hashtags. Okay, so here's Batman. I'm so lucky I can keep my superhero entertained while practicing my face painting skills. So that's really cute and that got good engagement too. You've got 48 likes which is great and you've got six comments. So personal stuff does really well on Facebook. Um, people like to see the behind the scenes of your life. It makes them feel more connected to you as a person behind the brand. But you also want to make sure that it's not every single post is about your personal life either because you are building a business brand. So if this kind of stuff is just every now and then, then that's great like once a week, do a personal life update. Um, but the majority of your content ideally should be focused on educating your audience, showing off what you can do for them and even starting conversations with them about things. Because remember, social media is designed to be social. This one only got 14 likes and the reason being is probably because you didn't write anything with it and there's no reason for them to actually comment. If people don't have a reason to comment, like if they don't get anything out of commenting or they don't know what to say, they're not going to do anything. I can see here you've also done a makeup tutorial of that look that you shared earlier, which is very, very cool. That's got some good engagement too, so well done. 34 likes, 8 comments, 4 shares. That's showing off your amazing makeup artistry. I also love that you have your branding behind your photos and behind your videos that's that's fantastic well done this post got a lot of comments recommendations for Netflix you got 19 comments from your followers and that's because people you, you asked people a question and they had an opportunity to answer and it's also something that they probably felt comfortable answering um, and people like to share their opinions and share what they like with others so because they get a sense of um, importance from doing that so that's a really important thing to be aware of you need to understand the reasons why people comment or why people do anything, but especially commenting on Facebook. A lot of the different reasons are people will comment to share their opinion, their belief, um, to get a feeling of significance, importance, recognition as well. And so if you can create content that allows people to experience those things through your posts, that's great. Now, here's one that didn't do that well, despite it being amazing work. You've got really nice makeup and lashes done here I can see and it's a nice little video but it only got two likes and the reason being is probably because of the wording that went with the video so it can be a great you can have amazing photos or videos but if the copy if the words if the text that you put with it is kind of like eh I haven't put in that much effort then once again people you're just not going to get that much effort back in return so you've said what do you think of this highlighter it has a hint of purple to match those gorgeous eyes now that's fine, you're asking people a question, but like they are probably thinking why, like what do I comment or like why should I comment on that? Like yeah, look, it's, it's pretty, okay, cool. Um, I would more be more likely to actually tell a story about this particular makeup look or this particular client. What she, like why did she get that look? Where was she going? What was she doing? Why did she want purple? Is it to match her dress? Um, I want to know like a little bit more that's going on or you could talk about like what you actually did in the makeup and then in order to get more engagement you could and this is what I would do if I was a makeup artist by the way is I would ask people like comment below if you want me to do a tutorial on how to do this look yourself at home because the thing you have to remember as a 
business owner, or like as an artist, as a makeup artist, etc. The people who do really, really well and position themselves highly as like hair artists and makeup artists and stuff, they give away all their secrets. They show you how to do things. They're not trying to keep it all to themselves and think that, oh, if I show you how to do stuff, then people aren't going to want to come to me. No, actually the opposite applies. You're going to show how to do stuff. They're going to try it. They're going to realize they're shit at it and they're, or maybe they'll get better if, with practice, but they see you as the expert that they learned from and when they need their makeup done for something, they are going to come and see you or they're going to want to come and see you because you're a little bit famous because you make videos. So that's a rant. Basically, the more value you can give, the more you can help people for free, for fun with your marketing, the more people actually want to give back to you. It's called the law of equal returns or the law of karma. Um, but in content marketing and in marketing sakes, the more you give, the more people are going to want to give back. So stop holding secrets. Now, there's a lot of posts to do with isolation and coronavirus, which is fine and that's appropriate right now. Here's another one that doesn't have that much engagement despite being an amazing look. Throwing it back to flawless skin and beautiful gold glitter look. And I think the same thing applies here. It's a beautiful makeover it's a great transformation but the text that goes with it is kind of leaving something like like throwing it back to flawless skin and beautiful gold glitter look okay like what do you want me to do the only thing that people can do with this post is like it basically um even if you ask what do you think like they would say oh yeah it looks good like that's that's really the only thing that people could do with posts like this and this is why so many people are lacking in engagement in lots of different industries especially things like hair and beauty and so i'll put up a picture and they'll be like fresh color for a lovely lady and they get like three likes and it's like even if the hair is amazing because what are people going to like why why do they comment what do they say to that like cool you know so you want to get in the habit of treating every post that you do as if it would like it's a news feed think of it as though you're writing an article a short story or an article about whatever it is that you're posting in a newspaper, in a magazine, in a, in a publication, you, if you want to get better results on Facebook, you've got to put in a little bit more effort with the stories that you tell with your posts. And this, once again, is not just talking to Melissa. This is like a general rant for everybody. You have to put in more effort if you want people to spend effort on you. So if you were to publish this picture in a newspaper, what would you say with it? Or a magazine, what would you say with it? What story would you tell? Would you teach people how to do their makeup? Would you say write a story about why people come and get their makeup? Would you talk about the importance of getting your makeup done professionally for special events to accompany this photo? Um, would you talk about being a makeup artist and the benefits of being a makeup artist and how you can make people feel? There's so many different angles that you can come at with a photo. I'm happy this one doesn't have hashtags on it though. And the last one I'm going to talk about before I wrap up and then give some suggestions is this one for a lash lift because once again, I think this photo is beautiful. I can see that you've put really great effort into creating this photo actually. It looks lovely. It looks very professionally designed and it shows off a lovely lash lift results. However, it only has five reactions and no comments. It says you don't know the true potential of your lashes until you've tried a lash lift, no mascara or extensions, just perfect lashes with no maintenance needed for up to two months. Now you've got a few little emojis here that's like patch test required, takes props an hour, till great crawly, which is the location and then DM me to book an appointment. Now I don't know if you've got appointments for this or not, that's great. But what I would change about this is one, think about who you're talking to in this ad because depending on if you're talking to someone who's never had a lash lift before or if you're talking to someone who has had lash lifts for ages, you would talk to them differently. So I would assume with this post that you're talking to someone who has never had a lash lift before. If that is the case, I would want to know a little bit more about how it actually works. I would educate, I would add more substance into this post again. I would talk about how a lash lift works. I would talk about what it feels like. I would talk about why people get it done. It's kind of like the who, what, when, where, how formula. I'm always following that and I'm always preaching about it in all my courses because you can do it with everything. But if you're talking to someone who has no idea what a lash lift is and they've never experienced it, you need to talk to them in a way that makes them feel comfortable about getting it done. And also, you need to know that not everybody is just ready to book an appointment. So sometimes just shifting your call to action, changing the call to action and not saying DM me to book an appointment or not saying... PM me to book now, if you just change that call to action to like message me for prices, 
you get so many more people sending you a message to inquire and then you can start a conversation, have a chat with them about their lashes, about what they want. Talk to them like they're a friend or a potential new client. Don't just try and go straight for the sale or you'll turn them the fuck off. And then spend some money on this post and advertise it and boost it and get it out there. Because otherwise your efforts are being wasted. If you have amazing posts, they're getting great like great photos, great wording, and you're getting not much engagement, but, but they could potentially be growing your brand and getting your clients, you are wasting your time and energy creating them in the first place if you're not going to invest in yourself. So that is my rant done for today, my rip the page. I hope you liked it. Please let me know what you thought. If you have any questions, um, make sure to come and join my free Facebook group called Coffee with Carissa. Um, find the post that is about ripping the page in there. I might pin it to the top of the group. Submit your page to the list if you would like me to have a go at yours. And also make sure to come and follow me on Instagram at Carissa Hill Coach.